Hello, people! Welcome to another fantastic weekend! Hello, party people! Wait, if I had one recommendation, if you want to get into the medium of comic books, look at the indie platform. But stuff like this is absolutely killing the industry. Well, the mainstream industry is already dead. Diamond is long gone. And I don't know if that's a blessing or a curse. It was good to at least get one shot of one stop shop. But the monopoly of the idea always is a bad idea. And then again, it's now absolute chaos in the industry is from what I'm hearing. But anyway, this is about censorship and in and on the indie platform. I'm a massive supporter of sort of the indie stuff. Uh, it's actually the indie stuff that's actually got us back into Western media. Anyway, off that. After having trouble with Indiegogo, Shadow banned in nearly every comic gate related project using the platform. Crowdfunder bans private, uh, private America and plans to ban all other comic gate related projects. Well... Don't use that no more. See, Indiegogo does still allow you to do it. You know, there are shadow banning. They still allow you to put your comics on it. But Crowdfunder New, I'm guessing, is a no-go site. Like GoFundMe. Just stay off them. They're... Uh, really... Have I seen this come up before? Oh, but it does look decent, like. Yeah, but I'm quite impressed with that, to be honest. Artworks, de artworks de de decent, the backgrounds are right. The colouring's decent. The shadow in with on the blacks. Yeah. Right. Man, I'm, I'm going to have to have a look into this. The series begin. Oh, yeah. This begins with a legendary comic book writer. Mike Bowen and his book, oh, read, didn't know that. Prime America cross three platforms, Indiegogo, Shadow Bannon the uh, campaign, followed by Kickstarter, targeting and removing it. And finally, December 21, uh, Mike Bain's announced uh, crowdfunder has banned his book. Oh my dears, man. All these people are, are payment processors. So you go on, so you put your project riff on it. They host, like, basically, would you like to fund this? And I pay for the book if I want the book. These crowdfunding pages should realistically have no sort of power to deny pretty much any project that comes on. The only ones I think they should realistically have are the... Are the Illegal stuff. Shadow banning. I'm not keen on it. But if you don't want this stuff on your homepage. At least keep it off there. So you can basically get people to the homepage. But if people want to search for it. They should be able to search for it and find it. Wait. After banning came off the heels of his hit piece. By the Daily Cos. Uh, alleged that his book is racist. Despite the main hero being a person of colour. Hey, yep, they do that sort of stuff, you know. Because of the article, uh, an online mob falsely reported the Private America campaign. The company caved, alleging Barons violated their terms of service. What terms of service? But Private America publisher Chris Bradley uh, made an attempt to speak with a representative of the platform crowdfunder uh, to plead his tour, plead that they allowed art to be made uh, without censorship. His results were not fruitful and obtained a Zoom call with the company's CEO, David Botch. Oh, it has to be a David, eh? Well, I'm calling him David, not Dave. He doesn't deserve Dave. Wait. Well, the recognition that you can uh, lump everyone that belongs in a certain group together as being the same people, uh, Botch opened into a 12 minute video. Uh, wait. 
unfortunately, Comic Gate has a reputation that it has, and if people are going to declare themselves part of Comic Gate, we cannot change Comic Gate's reputation. Even though we know that there are bad elements, they are just like there are bad elements in everywhere else. That Comic Gate was harmless. There was some BS around it, but the people that were actually within it had no real. Uh, fuck it, I'm not getting into it. <laughs> the jail perspective of Comic Gate is problematic for us all, and the kind of. Where we have to leave it here, he stayed. So Comic Gate was about 15, 14. Followed by Gamer Gate. And I sort of just gave up by then. Should have stayed, should have fight. Regret that new. So yeah, man. The shadow and the bone structure. Even the intricate details. Definitely got to look, uh, look to something like. Despite his words uh, regarding and not lumping everyone in belonging to the same group together and making negative judgments, Crowfunder is doing exactly that. Fuck, it sounds like it. Sounds like anyone who associates Comic Gear is not going to be allowed on Crowfunder and having hearing you properly, basically asked to clarify, uh, you are botch, says. Doggo! Doggo. So what the fuck's going on here? So he's caught by the doggo. Then is his partner? Then the same gear, so is his partner going to slay the doggo? Then he kicks it. The interview continues with ten or more minutes, botch back uh, back and backtracking, going to circles and gaslighting. Sounds like the typical shit. Alright, you think it's wrong to expose crowdfunder bigotry in its own uh, in the owner own words, uh, I do business with vipers. <laughs> Fair enough. Don't do business with vipers. And so on and so forth. But, hey, I'll leave it there. So, crowdfunder is a no-go now. Any go-go is still probably the best of the worst cases you can have. I still support a few indie comics on there. I'm happy to. See, the whole indie comic things as well has also been sort of died with uh, people putting fake ones out there where they've just basically been cash grabs. But this doesn't look like a case. There's other ones where I've supported and doesn't look like a case. I think Eric Jurai with Ripperverse probably did the best thing. But I know people don't have that sort of fun. I believe he put 200 grand of his own money uh, up, rip up for that. And I'm fucking grateful it paid off for him. But, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Hello, thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more, watch more. If not, eh, at least like, comment, subscribe. It helps us out. Appreciate it. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.